All right, today, friends, I'm going to be trying to install a between the stud um, wall. What are these called? Oh, I can't even think of what they are right now. Um, ceiling box, but this is for. I'm going to put this in the wall here between the studs here so I can put my uh, light fixture on. Right now, all they had is a couple of sheet box screws there. And there's no stud behind there, and just these things come. There's no junction box there, so I'm gonna put this in there between the studs, and that way we can have a proper um, fitting and stuff like that. So I made sure my power was off. I tested it with my uh, voltage meter, and basically I just want to make a a circle here. around my junction box so I know where to cut out. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna take my uh, DeWalt um, punch saw, jab saw, I'm sorry, different, different. And we're just gonna try to cut that out there. Okay. Put up on the counter here. Okay. All right. So here we go. Now that looks pretty good. They were great. Much easier than using a, a different kind of knife. That's not good, there's a water pipe right there. Well, you can't really hardly cut it out any better than that, can you? Okay, put those back on there, I guess. So behind there, I have OSB. And water pipe. So I think I'm gonna, that's gonna be, I think, my review video on cutting through the hole with that works pretty awesome. Okay, as usual, I ran into some issues. So there's really no way for me to get this bar in there between the studs because I got a water pipe here, another water pipe here and an uh, air vent here and then another stud here so there's no room for me to even get this in there i can't even get to the studs which would have been difficult anyways to do that i might have had to rip out the sheetrock but because of those uh um pipes and stuff the way they are in there there's no way i can get that in there so uh, we're gonna go into the osb in behind there. we're gonna drill into that so what i do have 
theoretically, since we have four inches from the back to the sheetrock, and then from our, uh, if we put a two by four back there and drill or screw our uh, um, housing into there, it's gonna, should fit. So what I'm gonna do, since the OSB is, I think, a half inch, I'm gonna drill these screws in through this uh, two by four here that I've got prepped. So what I'm gonna do is also, now I just drill them in there, I'm gonna screw them on a pre-drill hole so it doesn't split the wood, and then uh, do a bigger hole so the screw head can go down into there and get a little bit more bite. So right about there into there. I'm gonna do four of these and drill that into the OSB behind there. And not enough to go through, but four, four screws should be pretty solid. That's for uh, just hold, maybe I'll do five, one in the middle as well, just for good measure. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prep my two by four here. Hopefully it's gonna go in there. Yeah, it'll go in there and just lay flat against the OSB. So, just gonna kinda have to adapt here. So that's what we're working on. Well, that was pretty awesome. I was drilling my holes and my wood split. So I tried to make a little bit bigger piece here and I cut an angle here at the front so we can get it in there um, easier. So when it hits the back part, I can slide it up under. Hopefully this will give me enough leeway. I'm gonna go ahead and mark where I want my things. Here's my, there, so my drill holes have to be in between those when I put it in the wall. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully the wood doesn't split. Okay, this piece of wood did not split, thankfully. So I'm gonna show you what I did here. Um, there's the holes, I got five of them, and these are gonna go into the OSB. So I drilled a little extra indentation in there. And then that's how far it's going to sink into the uh, side wood. So hopefully it's not going to go too far in there. That's the plan at least. Just to uh, have five of these going into the OSB in the back. Into the hole there. And that way it will give me a nice foundation. Then screw the uh, junction box into the wood once I get this wood set in there. So that's the plan. Um, I'm just going to slide this in here. Get that situated and try to screw that in. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I get one screw in there. Get the other five here, hopefully. It should be a nice strong base for my junction box to go into, hopefully. Five screws should be plenty. This shouldn't be going anywhere. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to get my junction box screwed into there. Get my wires going through there. You know, should be uh, good to go. All right, let's do that. All right, we're going to get our wires through our junction box here. So I did a punch out. Slide those up through there. There we go. Next, we're going to attach this somewhere where we're not going to get our screws. So if we turn it this way, we're going to miss our screws. That should be good to go. Nice and snug there. All right, so. Go right there. That's about that's about perfect. Almost better than I dared plan there. Okay. So um, I've got a little bit longer screws for this one. Or 
maybe I'm not. Because I already got my 2x4. And I think the junction box screws are going to be... Should be sufficient to hold that. I am going to drill pilot holes. So just in case. I don't want to split that wood at all. So I'm going to drill those pilot holes real quick. So one second. Okay, let's do the drilling here. Can right there. Well, that's not doing much good. That thing's got to be difficult, you know, for some reason. All I want to do is replace my my light and it turned out that it was just you know there wasn't a junction box there and everything so everything's just always seems to turn out a little bit more difficult than when you had plans so there's my pilot holes I'm gonna screw in my regular screws there okay here's hoping my wood doesn't split let's do this not flush. Yeah. Should be straight there for some reason. It's not, but it is still recessed. I'm not exactly sure why it's not, but it's pretty solid there. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, my friends. Thanks for watching this video. Um, we'll be doing an install on a light now. So uh, stick around for that. We'll see you next time.